The Dark Lord has chosen my son Draco to kill Dumbledore. He can't do it, he's just a boy. I cannot persuade the Dark Lord, but I might help Draco. Make the unbreakable bow! Severus, will you watch over and protect Draco as he attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes? Yes. And if Draco fails, will you carry out the deed the Dark Lord has ordered him to perform? Obviously. Harry, this year, instead of having Occlumency lessons with Professor Snape, I will be giving you private lessons involving something different. Sir, what happened to your right hand? No time to explain. Take my left hand, Harry. Why are we here, sir? You will find out when we enter. Take your wand out. Good evening, Horace. Albus, I was just hiding from the Death Eaters. Harry, this is an old friend and colleague of mine, Horace Lockhorn. Harry Potter, your mother Lily was one of my favorite students. It would be an honor if you return to Hogwarts. Alright, I'll do it, but I want a pay rise. Wonderful. Farewell, Horace. Sir, what was exactly all that about? Professor Slughorn is going to try to collect you, Harry. That's why he's returning to Hogwarts. What about Hedwig and my trunk? They are both waiting for you. Dear. Mrs. Weasley. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Well, come on in. I'll knock something up. Also, Fred and George are running a joke shop at Diagon Alley. We'll be heading there tomorrow before school. Sounds brilliant. Welcome to Weasley's Wizard Weezes. We got fainting fancies, nosebleed nougat, and just in time for school, puking pastels. Hello, Hello ladies. ladies. Love potions, say eh? They really do work. We believe you're dating Dean Thomas, sis. It's none of your business. I think Draco's up to something. Hey Patrick, why are you wearing an eye patch? I was attacked by a hypogriff, SpongeBob. You mean a hippogriff? Yeah, the pony looks like a chicken. You see that, Patrick? No one is running the ice cream shop, and the door is open. That means free ice cream! Yeah! What was Draco doing with that cabinet? It was a ceremony. He's now a Death Eater like his father. That's very unlikely, and we better head to the station before we miss the train. <laughs> you were spying, weren't you, Potter? The Jericho Totalis! I thought so. Enjoy your ride back to London! Psst. Watch your Harry. Tongs, why are you here? I will give the school extra protection. Thanks for your help. Let's get out of here. Good evening to you all. Let me welcome a new member of our staff, Horace Lockhorn, who has agreed to resume his old post as Potions Master. Meanwhile, Professor Snape will take the post of defense against the Dark Arts. Now, as you all know, Lord Voldemort is at large once more. I trust you to conduct yourselves with the utmost regard for your own safety. Now off to bed. This potion I'm holding is known as Felix Elysis, also known as Liquid Luck. One step and all your endeavors succeed. Today I will provide a bottle of Liquid Luck to the student who brews a perfect draught of living death by the end of class. Let the brewing commence. <coughs> Merlin's beard, it's perfect! Here we are as promised. One bottle of Liquid Luck. Congratulations, use it well. Good evening, Harry. I sent you here tonight to show your memory of the day I first met Voldemort, or as he was known then, Tom Riddle. I'd like you to see it. How do you do, Tom? Who are you? I'm Professor Dumbledore. I work at Hogwarts, a school of magic. You can do things, can't you, Tom? I can make things move without touching them. I can make bad things happen to those who annoy me. And I can talk to snakes. At Hogwarts, we teach you not only to use magic, but to control it. Did I know I just met the most dangerous dog wizard of all time? No. While he was at Hogwarts, Tom Riddle had no friends. Many Death Eaters claim that they are in his confidence, but they are deluded. Voldemort never wanted a friend. And now it really is time for bed. Have you ever heard of this spell, Septum Sempera? No, but I'd like to know who's that book was. It says it belongs to the Half-Blood Prince. Who's the Half-Blood Prince? Alright, Lavender. Good luck, Ron. Hey, my boy. Hello, sir. What brings you here? I came to inform you that both you and Granger are invited to my Christmas party. You're allowed to bring a partner. I would love to join, sir. I think the same. Splendid. Look for my owl. Hermione, if you don't mind, I'll be searching for a partner for the party. See you later. Hello, Harry. 
Hey Luna, would you like to come to Professor Slughorn's party with me as friends? I'd love that. No one's ever asked me to a party before as friends. Excellent. Harry, you made it just in time for the party. Would you like a drink, Harry? No, thank you, Neville. Sir, may I use the bathroom? Of course, take your time. I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen for this. You're afraid, Draco. Let me assist you. You're saying that Voldemort has chosen Draco for a mission? I know it sounds mad. Perhaps Harry's right, Remus. It comes down to whether or not you trust Dumbledore's judgment. I do. Therefore, I trust Snape. Do you honestly like Snape? I neither like nor dislike Snape. While I was teaching at Hogwarts, he made the Wolf's Bane potion for me every month to control my sanity on every full moon. Speaking of my condition as a werewolf, the reason why I became one is because of Fenrir Greyback, the most savage werewolf alive today. When I was a kid, my father insulted Greyback, which angered him and got revenge by biting me while I was asleep at a full moon. Harry, I think from what you described, the object Draco is so interested in is the Vashing Cabinet, the one from Morgan and Burks has a twin at Hogwarts. What the bloody hell was that? Filthy blood traitors! <laughs> Harry, wait! Everyone out of the house! Oh no, not the burrow, not the burrow. Sir, I wondered what you know about Horcruxes. I don't know anything about Horcruxes, and I don't want to tell you if I did. Now get out of here and don't let me catch you mentioning them again. As you might have noticed, that memory has been tampered with by Professor Slughorn. I think he's ashamed of it. That's why I ask you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. Yes, sir. I will not fail you. Is that you, Romelda? Sir, what happened to him? Ralph just swallowed a love potion by mistake. Here, drink this. It's a tonic for the nerves. What happened to me? You drank a love potion. I believe it's Ron's birthday. We should celebrate then. I've got Dazzling Oak Matured Mead. I meant to give it to Dumbledore as a Christmas gift, but oh well. To Weasley's birthday. Oh! Ron! Professor, do something! I don't understand! Bloody hell! These girls are gonna kill me! Quick thinking on your part, Harry, using a besaw. We agreed Potter's actions were heroic. This bottle possesses hints of licorice and cherry. I think someone tried to poison me, but I doubt it was you, Horace. You're going to be fine, Ron. What one? What are you doing with her? I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. Get lost, you bloody idiot. Her mind's more clever than you will ever be. It's Trace and Dinner, obviously. <laughs> it's time. Well, how do you feel? Brilliant. You've got to talk to Slughorn. I'm going to see Hagrid. It's the best place to be tonight. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Hello, Professor. Harry, why are you here? It's nearly nightfall. Well, sir, Hagrid's devastated. His giant spider, Aragog, died last night. Touching, but Acumantula venom is quite valuable. I might get some considering I doubt the body has dried out yet. Well, come along, sir. Hagrid will be pleased. Hello, Horace. Your oldest friend he was. Seriously, you misunderstood creature spiders are. Hagrid, may I extract some venom for academic purposes? I don't suppose it's gonna do him much good now. My thoughts exactly. May I say a few words? Go on. Farewell, Ergo, King of the Arachnids. Your body will decay, but your spirit lingers on. Thank you, Horace. And it's getting dark right now. I'll bury Aragog's body tomorrow morning. Sir, I've got to tell you something. I'm the chosen one. I have to kill Voldemort, but I need that memory. I need to know what you told Tom Riddle all those years ago. Be brave like my mother, Professor. Please don't think badly of me when you see it. Thank you, sir. Sir, I wondered what you know about Horcruxes. A Horcrux is an object created when you split your soul. It can only be done by murder and then you cannot die. Can you split your soul into seven? Man is beard, Tom. Isn't it bad enough to think of killing one person? It's all hypothetical, isn't it? Yes, sir. It'll be our secret. Did he succeed in making Horcruxes, sir? Yes. What are they exactly? They can be anything. For example, Tom Riddle's diary was a Horcrux and you destroyed it. I also destroyed one, a ring, which cursed my right hand. That's where I've been going when I've been leaving the school. If we destroy them all, Voldemort will die? Yes, and I found another one, but this time I need company. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. 
You tried to poison Dumbledore, didn't you, Malfoy? It's none of your concern, Potter. Cruel Septon Sephra! Oh no, what have I done? What the hell is the meaning of this? I didn't mean it to happen. I didn't know what that spell did. Detention till the end of the school term, Potter. I knew there was something wrong with that prince person. I guess I should just go and hide the book. That sounds like a great decision. Now listen, I'm going on a mission with Dumbledore tonight. I'll be fine as long as I'm with him. Please be careful, Harry. Good luck. I'm glad to get rid of that book. There you are, Harry. The place to which we journey tonight is extremely dangerous. You must obey every command I give you without questions. Yes, sir. Take my hand. I thought you couldn't operate within Hogwarts. Well, being me has its privileges. Is the whole crux in here, sir? Yes, all of it has to be drunk. This potion might cause me so much pain that I beg for relief. Very well, here I go. Oh! Professor, are you alright? Harry, I need water! Aquamante! <laughs> we did it, sir, we got the Horcrux! Harry, I'm weak! Don't worry, sir, I'll get us back! Sir, I must take you to the hospital wing. No, Severus is whom I need. Tell him what happened and speak to no one else. Do as I say. Expelliarmus! Good evening, Draco. You are not a killer. Don't you understand? I have to kill you, or he'll kill me! No. Severus, please. Abarakatabra. No! Yes! <laughs> the Dark Lord will finally take over Hogwarts! Not if we have anything to say about it. Petrificus Italis! Neville, are you alright? Yes, and I saw Snape and Draco pass by! I know, I'm on it. Go on, Draco. Snape! He trusted you! Septim Sempra! Ah! You dare use my own spells against me, Potter? Yes, I'm the Half-Blood Prince. Here we stand after the loss of Elk Dumbledore, the Hogwarts Headmaster who was murdered by the traitor Severus Snape. He will be remembered among witches and wizards from different generations that lie ahead starting today. It turns out the whole crux was fake. The real one must be hidden somewhere else. There was something written inside the fake locket. Something called R.A.B. I don't know what that stands for, but whoever it is must have the real whole crux. Speaking of the Half-Blood Prince, I was right about Arlene Prince owning a book once. She was Snape's mother. I found out about that when I was going through Old Prophets and there was an announcement about Arlene Prince marrying a muggle named Tobias Snape. It appears Snape must have been proud for being half a prince. Yeah, it makes sense. But I'm not coming back on it next turn. I must finish whatever Dumbledore started. I've always admired your courage, Harry, but I don't think you will be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself. You need us, Harry. We are here for you. Another adventure lies ahead. <laughs>